friends, how are you doing today on this fine day that ends in Y? I am bringing you my sixth look for my 13 days of Halloween, sword optional. But if you'd like to see how I created this battle war knight look, then stay tuned and let's do this. Okie dokie, I'm starting out with a clean face. Then I'm going to take my face. See, I'm holding my face. I made a prosthetic. If you want to see how I did that, then go ahead and click the box over there. I'll take you to my Patreon page. You should join us to be part of the chaos community. It's great. Basically going to take it off the plaster face and put it on my face. And I had to make sure what side I was putting it on. It was the right side. First, I'm taking a glue stick and gluing down my brows just to add a little bit of protection before we go down with the prosade and silicone later. Then I'm going to take one side of the prosthetic or one piece of the prosthetic and map out where I'm going to put it. To glue it onto my face, I'm putting some prosade on the prosthetic itself and then on my skin where it's going. Same with the top. Waiting for that to dry, or mostly dry. Starting at the center and then patting out towards the edges to make sure that everything is lying flush with my skin. I didn't do a great job at the edges of the prosthetic, so uh, yeah. Then I'm going to take some more prosade on a cotton bud and just go around the perimeter of the prosthetic to help ensure that the edges stay flat. And I tried to get the edges smooth with the prosade, but it wasn't really going as much as I wanted it to, so I mixed up some more third degree silicone compound and then applied that to my face. Silicone is a great, or third degree is a great alternative to people with. Uh, latex allergies like me so I'm just applying a little by little with a spatula and applying it to the edges of the prosthetic and then blending out from there you want to work when it's got the consistency of kind of peanut butter then I'm going to pat it to make sure that there's no shiny texture um, which is something that can happen sometimes and then I'm gonna add a big blob to my nose because I wanted to add a little cut wound thing on my nose so I'm applying a blob and then blending out the edges with the spatula. It's not perfect. Um, I kind of did this look in a rush, so uh, yeah. Then I'm taking the side of the spatula and just kind of blending down. And then I wiped it off and went shoop right through the middle of the glob to make a cut. Kind of played with the edges a little bit before waiting for everything to set and then powdering with Dermblend Loose Settings Powder. It's the translucent one. Then, once that's done, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer off camera and I'm doing both my face and my prosthetic. Before going in with the Flex Foundations in first using the shade Cream all over as like a base shade. I just wanted a nice even wash of color. Then going in with Light Beige, which is... Uh, a light beige, which is too dark for me, but it's great to make a, a faux tan. So I'm putting it right on the high points of my face. So the cheekbones, brow ridge, chin, some speckling on the neck because I wanted some texture. I love texture. And then I'm filling my brows off camera with the European Body Art Encore Activated Makeup in Chestnut before taking that on a chip brush that I kind of cut most of the bristles off and I'm using that to splatter all over my face. This is kind of to simulate freckles or dirt and I'm also putting it on the wound before going in with the shade Tainted Tissue and then repeating but keeping that right around the cheek area and right over the open parts of the wound just to give it some more skin-like texture because if you look at your arm, there's not just one color, it's many colors. Now for the easiest eye tutorial ever, I'm just taking this sleek makeup eyeshadow mono in about last night. I'm putting it all over my lid, haphazardly. It doesn't have to be perfectly blended because, you know, you've been fighting in a battle. Then back to the SFX side of things, I'm taking the shade Liver from European Body Art and I'm localizing that to the innermost point of the cuts to create some depth. There's also a few areas on the prosthetic that I wanted to add a little bit of like wounds or sores. After that I'm taking the Skin Illustrator Zombie Palette in the Blood Tone, Age Tone, and Bruise Tone and doing kind of a mod podge of those three. 
I really do like the zombie palette, it's really, it's a good investment. I'm taking those three colors on a sea sponge that uh, was a bit too big for what I was wanting. So um, I dabbed away some of the excess that I accidentally gave myself. Then I'm going in with a smaller part of that sea sponge that I just ripped off and I'm localizing that to the cuts itself. Then I'm going with my brush and I decided that it'd be easier to just paint the insides of the wounds. So I'm going with the blood tone and the aged blood tone and I'm going right along the walls of the cut. Kind of like that. See? No more flesh toned areas. If you have any accidents, you can always dab it away with your finger. After that, I'm going back in with a sea sponge and just putting some more texture splatter marks right over top of the edges. Repeat the same thing on the nose. I'm also extending the cut in the nose just so it goes down towards my nasal folds. Then touching up a little bit of the sore slash wounds on the sides of the prosthetic. Just to break things up a bit. Because this wound isn't a fresh wound. It's like a few days old. It's kind of festering. It's kind of uh, gross. So I wanted to have some open wounds. Then I'm taking tainted tissue again. But this time I'm going to be using a paintbrush. And I am tracing along the perimeter of some parts of the prosthetic to give them a more irritated raised effect. And I'm tapping it out. If I put it down too heavy, I'll tap it out to kind of diffuse it a little bit. I'm also tracing along some of the craggly bits of the prosthetic and adding a little bit on my lip because I'm going to do kind of a, a fat lip wound in a second. Tainted tissue is a very good color for, for simulating scars, just FYI. So yeah, I'm just fadoodling that brush. Ta-da! Yep. Anyway, next I'm taking the Graftobian Makeup Wheel in Severe Trauma and I'm using the purple and yellow shades. First, I'm gonna take the yellow shade on a textured small paintbrush and I'm going to localize that around my eye bag area on the inner corner and the cheekbone on the outer corner. And since the brush kind of wasn't putting it down the product the way I wanted it to, I ended up just going in with my finger and tapping it around some areas of the wound. I put some on the other eye as well. Then I'm following it up with the purple going right up next to where we put the yellow shade. Be aware that there is a warning on this product that says you're not supposed to use around the eye area, so please use with your own caution. But yeah, I'm just dabbing it around the areas I want to create bruises with. But since it wasn't really popping as much as I wanted it to, I ended up going back in with the yellow a little bit more before going in with the bruise tone from the zombie palette on a bigger textured brush and creating kind of veins and texture with that. Now, be careful because this is alcohol activated makeup. You are, it's not a good thing to put alcohol right next to your eye because it kind of burns. So if you're doing this, make sure you keep your eye closed until it dries and do not put it right near your waterline or lash line. Yeah, and to create some texture, I'm just fadoodling the brush. Some of it makes sense, some of it doesn't, some of it's just texture. I like texture, I like wound texture, texture's fun. How many times am I gonna say texture in this tutorial? I don't know, texture, texture, texture. La, 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 la. Then I'm taking some yellow, also from the zombie palette, it's the primary yellow shade, and I'm dabbing that around certain areas of the look to make it look a little kind of gangrenous, a little just irritated. I'm usually putting it right around where we put the purple or the bruise tone. And if I have any extra, I'm just tapping it away with my brush. For going in with the shade Rice Paper, which is a very pale flesh tone, 
and I'm lightly putting that over some of the high points of the prosthetic, just to break it up from all the gore, kind of act as a highlight. I also bring it out towards the edges of my face to continue and kind of blend any edges. Then I decided to add some more gore, so I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk eye eyebrow brush, putting a little bit of makeup remover wipe on my hand, and then I'm going in with aged blood and blood tone and just splattering that locally around the wound. Please keep your eye closed for this portion of the tutorial because you don't want to get alcohol activated makeup in your eye because it burns. Then I decided that I was going to give myself a bloody nose because why not? I added some more eyeshadow because I don't remember why, but I did. But like, look, this is why I like third degree because it looks all gross. And to intensify the grossness, I'm using Bloody Mary's Scab Blood, which is one of the better scab bloods out there. It does not stain, it comes off really easily. So I'm just packing that in the wound and it will dry down and just give a scabby texture. So um, that's why I like it. So I'm just putting that in the wounds I'm putting it in my nose, bloody nose area, before going in with the Milk Makeup Ubame Mascara off camera to do the pretty side lashes. And then I'm adding some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer in Tawny, again to the high points of the face, both sides, don't forget the gory side. Then for the lips, I'm using the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Belle, just as a nice slight wash of color, nothing perfect, just to give a little bit of oomph back into the lips. And changing out my contact lens, this is a white mesh lens from Pinky Paradise, which is prescription, which is why I can see. And then I'm finishing the look with the Milk Makeup Face Gloss. I love face gloss for gore effects. You can also use KY Jelly, just FYI but it gives a little bit more life to the look, makes it a little bit more believable as well as looking a little bit more worn in. So yeah, I'm putting it all over both eyelids, adding some to my lower lash line before going in with the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter just a little bit in the shade Lit to the highest points of the pretty side of my face. And yeah. After that, you just pop on your wig. This is the Epic Cosplay wig in Aeon, and I think it's light brown. It's either light brown or chestnut brown. I'll have the details listed down below and on my blog. And there, there you have it. This is the finished look for my battle-worn night warrior thing. I got some grossness going on. I got some spookiness going on. I got some prettiness going on. And yeah, I like how it turned out. If you would like to know details and all of the things that I have on my face, I'll have it listed below and on my blog. If you want to see how I did the tutorial, go ahead and click the link to go to my Patreon page or go to my blog. It means a lot to me. I love you. You could do one side gross, one side pretty, both sides pretty, both sides gross, the world is your oyster. You do you, boo. I really like how this look turned out. I feel a little bit like ham from Sandlot, just because of the hair and the freckles, but anyway know that I think you are awesome, and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome, because you, you're awesome. Yeah, 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 yes, you're awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our Patreon patrons. Without their support, I wouldn't be able to put as cool of stuff on the internet. So if you want to join us, which I think you should because it's a wonderful chaos community that we have going on, click the box to your right that's on the castle. Or if you want to see more from me, spooky stuff, go click the playlist box to your left. See you tomorrow!